destruction. Stand up against this Atsuki for the fight. Thought he might was going to get uh, a little of that outside competition here in Phoenix, Arizona. You know, I do like something about him right so. Both fighters weighing in at 128 and a half. As Tanagoza was quite concerned with his win to the press room that was there. I tell you, that's one thing the fighters shouldn't have to worry about when he's coming into a fight in tip-top condition, whether he will make the weight. You know, when you talk about making the weight, I think that was a psychological fight with Lloyd Hunnigan. Something that works against you. As Spadagosa, you can see, very much of a tactician, even though he got a looping right hand by Kino up very quickly. He just waits for that one punch. I'm not sure he wants to throw that one too many times, that looping right. But he leads with the left, follows a grip with the right hand, shaking the right hand a little bit. I'm not so sure he didn't hurt that thing a little bit. Maybe that's just a stop the fight. Well, as Spadagosa shakes the right hand. As you can recall, back in one, it was a course. He's out of Juarez, Old Mexico, fighting out of El Paso now. In the dark trunks. He's a tournament at 15 and one in round one. We'll be back to start round number two. This act get out of the ring and they're all in there when the bell goes off. And we're underway in round number two. And very well through round number one, even though Q X divided one of the punches. Right hand. And once again, he worth was knocked out in the second round by a very good in the name of Robert Bird, an amateur oh, out yes. of the Fort Worth Dallas area. And Bird wasted no time as as Paragosa gets another right hand, he's got two in a row. Dreaming now that he doesn't want to get that right hand again. I tell you, when let's look at this. Look at this. It's coming to you. Is that, he a, bit of, is that a bit of the Cobra act here? <laughs> a bit of the Cobra. You never know. <laughs> Antonio may have let him off the hook a little bit as he wades in, looping the right hands to the body. Got two solid right hands on Kinotas. Had him in trouble. There's another good right hand. Kinotas is fighting on pure perseverance. Young fighters watching this fight. These are the featherweights tonight, and one of our preliminary champions coming our way. The number one and two contenders in the WBA Junior Featherweight, Espinoza, along with Beloy. That'll be our main event coming up in just a few moments. Good body puncher. are really going to work now. I tell you, good body puncher, and he is your... Right here, as he is in the closing 30 seconds of this, the second round. And another right hand. He knows he's really kind of fell through the lines. He has got a great right now in the red from Venezuela, Antonio Esparo Quinones from Juarez, Mexico. Antonio in the red, and he has had control almost. He's showing in his punches right now. You would think, I mean, unleashed the right hand that really set this guy saying, where in the world am I? I thought maybe Stevie Cruz. I have the word that they did not make it, but you played with Barry McWiggan. He displayed so much talent, and he is perhaps one of the finest counterpunches in that division. He may need it the way this young man's fighting here tonight. I think the one his fights with McGregor is the face that Cruz was out of that fight in about the eighth or ninth round and went 15 to win it. What takes a hurt? And there's a good right hand. Asparla goes it, trying to finish off Kinoni's here on the third. And he's doing a good job of it. Kinoni's a journeyman, 15 and 4, and he's down for the first time tonight. Once again, it was a body shot. Right. Continuation by the referee. It's a little better this time. Kinoni's was up. He was alert. Had the gloves up. And also, even though he looks a little starry eyes, he looked much better than the last fight that probably should not have gone on and now Kinones is down they want to throw it in the because of the it is over so Kinone 